For God so loved the world, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Friends, we're going to perish if we do not believe, if we do not put our faith in Jesus Christ to save us. Let's put our faith in Jesus today. Friends, a lifeline is being thrown out. Many people are drowning in a sea of sin and it's like they don't care. But friends, we will care one day when we are standing before God. The Bible says that it is appointed to us to die once. That's what's going to happen, friends, isn't it? We're going to die. We know we're going to die. We're going to breathe our last. Maybe we're going to be old or maybe we're going to be young. Many young people are dying today. Have you noticed? Dying of heart attacks. Friends, it is appointed to people to die once and then to face the judgment. To face God. We're going to face God, friends, whether we like it or not, whether we believe in him or not. Whether we say, well, I don't believe in him, I hate God, or whatever you believe about God, I don't know. Maybe you do love God, but maybe you don't like him. But friends, it doesn't make any difference. We're all going to meet God, whether we believe in him or not. The atheist, the atheist is going to stand before God on the day of judgment, and he's going to wish he believed. You know that Richard Dawkins, the famous atheist who wrote The God Delusion, he said that intelligent design might actually exist. Richard Dawkins, the man who wrote The God Delusion, intelligent design Friends, but he doesn't believe in God, but he, he believes in the possibility of intelligent design. Why isn't it God? Why isn't it God? Friends, why is it so much easier to believe in something else other than God? Some, I spoke to a lady the other day, she said we came from aliens, but God doesn't exist. <laughs> Friends, why are people so... So afraid to accept that God exists. You know why? Because then we become responsible for our sin. The Bible says all have sinned, all have sinned, and all have fallen short of God's amazing standard. And the wages of sin is death. We're going to be given our wages at the end of time. The wages of sin is death. God will give us death. Friends, are, are we going to die twice because the Bible says that there are two deaths. There's one death, this physical death, and then there's there's a second death, which is the spiritual death. Friends, the Bible says that it is appointed to us to die once and then to face the judgment. I don't know how close you are to dying. I don't know, maybe I could die tonight. We don't know, do we? I mean, I might be dead tonight. Friends, let's make sure that we know where we are going. Friends, I believe that these are the most important times to be alive. I believe that Bible prophecy is being fulfilled in our very day. Bible prophecy. Did you know that the Bible is full of prophecy? Do you know, God loves us. God loves us with an everlasting love. The Bible says that God so loved the world... He so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Friends, so many people don't want to think about everlasting life. They don't want to think about the life hereafter. But friends, we could be suddenly standing before God. I don't know. Heart attack, hit by a bus. Goodness knows what might happen. But we could be standing before God. Let's make sure that we're ready. Let's make sure that we're always ready to... Friends, a time is coming upon the earth. Trouble is coming upon the earth. And it's time for us to get ready. It's time for us to get ready. God is here on the streets. He loves us with an everlasting love. Friends, he, he has not forsaken us. If we call out to Jesus Christ with all of our hearts, we will find him and he will give us life. He will give us life. He will give us life for death. Friends, all have sinned and all have fallen short of the glory of God. Let's give our lives to God today. He's here for us. He's here for us. Let's open the door. The Bible says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. 
if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in. Friends, it's a relationship. It's a relationship. It's not about religion. It's not about joining a religion. We're not out here, friends, to say, join us. We're not asking for any money. We don't care about you joining us. We just want, friends, you to find God. To find God through Jesus Christ. We need a revelation. We need a revelation of God in this day. Let's open our hearts and we will find him. We will find him. Let's repent. Let's repent, friends, of our sin because the Bible says that all have sinned. All of us have sinned. All of us have gone our own way. If we could just repent, friends, we will find God. We will find God. We just say, God, forgive me. Forgive me of my sin. And he will come and he will enter into our life, friends, and he will give us life. He will give us life eternal.